on this earth. Right. Right. There ain't no people like us, and there won't be another people like us. Right. You understand? All right, so, so we understand, as the officer was saying, all right, we got to seek the kingdom of heaven, all right? And the kingdom of heaven is never going to be given to another people. It's not of another people, and it's, not, it's, it's never going to fall, all right? Give me, um, not, not, now, it's something that we have to understand. You understand this? Bro, they, showed, they went through this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you at up this? Judah, right? That's yeah. what you want. Judah. Yeah. All praises. That's where Christ comes to. All right? Give me, um, Psalms 90. Give me Psalms 90. Because you have a heavy, you got a heavy role, brother. As being a part of the tribe of Judah, you have a mighty role that you got to fulfill. You understand? You got to pull you. I see you pulled your pants up. Yeah. All right? Put a belt on. You know what I'm saying? You got to present yourself as a, as a man that, so the younger people can follow you. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Not be dressing like them. If you're trying to get them to change, you can't look like them. You That's understand? Right. You have to dress like a man. You have to dress like uh, uh, you want to teach them how to act. You understand? All praises. What's your name, bro? Trayvon. That you, you, you got to teach the people to, to repent, to come back to who they are. All right? You got to do that. How old are you? 24. You're 24? Yeah, bro. You got children? No. No kids. You ain't got no kids? No kids. Okay. Okay. You got women around here, though, right? <laughs> you can say that. Yeah, you got to repent from that, too, bro. That's that's all I'm on Give me... Give me um uh, uh give me that in, in uh, Hebrews thirteen. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Go ahead. You got it. Bring it out. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter thirteen and verse four. Bring it out. But marriage is honorable in all. So the Most High God says it's Isaiah forty-eight one. So the Most High God says that. Marriage is honorable and all. You know why marriage is honorable and all? What's the number one reason of us killing each other? The number one reason. Why do our people kill each other more than any other reason? What's the number one reason we kill each other? No, because, yeah, 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 that's, 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 well, because you took my girl. You understand? What's up, what fills our music? I take your chick, I, 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 t I do this to your chick, I do that. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. marriage, yeah. marriage yeah. is honorable and all. Okay. So it's not it's not only honorable for you to marry your sister, but it's also honorable for another man to recognize you, you your your uh, situation with that sister as marriage. Do not touch that. Do not dishonor that because that thing is honorable. Right. You understand? So the perception of marriage is as righteous as the, uh, uh, the institution of marriage. You understand what I'm saying? So you being married, other brothers, you need to teach other brothers uh, that the way they look at that marriage should be honorable as well. That's an honorable thing. Don't defile that. Don't dishonor that. You understand? And you start that. You start that in your community by marrying these sisters. You understand? Or God will judge you. Read it again. Verse 13, I mean, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, huh? and the bed undefiled. So whatever you do, whatever you, you know what I'm saying, whatever you, whatever you find in your mind, whatever you, you fill your lust in your bed with your wife, with your wife. You fulfill your lust with your wife. Yeah. You understand? And that's uh, the most high, he doesn't shame on that. He doesn't, he does he, he that's honorable thing. You understand? And that, but that's also y'all business. That's yeah. not a pub. Don't make a song about, yeah, I did this to her and you know, put the video out on the uh, internet and all that stuff. Yeah. That's all that's trash, bro. That's yeah. that's that's wicked. Alright? So it's honorable the marriage is honorable and all and the bed undefiled. Undefiled. You listening? listening. Alright. But whoremongers uh -huh. and adulterers. So whoremongers and adulterers. You know what a whoremonger is? You seen the movie? You seen the movie Kill um, Black Panther? No, I ain't seen that movie. Well, there was a character called Killmonger, and he had all these dots on him, right? All these cuttings on him, and there, there was like thousands of them, right? And they all represented a kill. So his name was called Killmonger. He killed a lot of people. He liked to kill people, so his name was Killmonger. So a whoremonger is what? Well, a whoremonger is what? A whore. A whoremonger is somebody who likes to deal with a lot of whores. Yeah. You understand? Who likes to make a lot of women whores. That's a whoremonger. You understand what I'm saying to you? So it says whoremongers and adulterers. You understand what adultery is, right? Somebody who does yeah. not honor the yeah. sanctity of marriage. Yeah. That's an adulterer. Yeah. You understand? So whether you can say, well, this sister I'm, 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 I'm dogging out like this. She's not married. Neither am I. So I'm not, I'm not offending the, the, the law on adultery. I'm not offending God in this. But you are. Because you are supposed to be somebody's husband. Yeah. That sister is supposed to be Somebody your wife. Yeah. You understand? So you've committed adultery and made her to commit adultery. 
Both of you have committed adultery, though neither of you are married. You understand? God will judge. So he says, the adulterer and the whoremonger, God will judge. How does he judge the adulterer and the whoremonger? How does he do that? How does God do that? You heard of, um, you heard of, uh, 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 what's it called? Crabs? You heard of like that. Hold on, it's, it's, it's uh, STD. That's that's kind of uh, secretive. Okay. Listen, you heard of gonorrhea? Yeah. You heard of AIDS? Yeah. HIV? Yeah. Uh, syphilis? Yeah. Uh, uh, what else you got? Uh, blue waffle. Chlamydia. Chlamydia. <laughs> blue waffle. Herpes. You heard all these things, right? Yeah. yeah that's what come. That's what comes from. Yeah. Listen up, bro. Listen up. This the truth. That's what comes from being an adulterer. That's what comes from being a whoremonger. You understand that? That's what comes from that. So when he said, read it again. Marriage is honorable in all. So you can get married or and the bed undefiled. Or but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So you can get married. You can get married, or you can get judged with syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, HIV, uh, herpes, all these other uh uh uh, uh plagues that comes from, as you said, STD, sexually transmitted diseases. Yeah. You understand? You got, that's your choice. That's your options. Yeah, damn right. Be scared. That's what you're supposed to be. Right. I'm scared. You understand what I'm saying to you? I'm married and I don't cheat on my wife. And I'm scared. You understand? Be afraid. That's the best we got. You understand? That keeps you in the way of doing what you're supposed to do. So when the temptation comes, when the trial comes, you scared. Hey, I'm scared. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You understand? Yeah. But give me, give me numbers fifteen. Hold that. Give me numbers fifteen, because it's it's, it's a law that we have that, that that's that's given to us to help us remember that we ought to be scared. To help us remember that we ought to fear God, right? I'm gonna show you that law real quick, and it's real simple, bro. You can do it today. You can do it. You can teach your people to do it today. What's your name, brother? Brian. Brian. Brian can do it today. You understand? This is something that both of you brothers can do today that it will help you stay in the way of righteousness. It would help you stay in the way of, of, uh, of, of what God commanded that we do. You understand? This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. This is a law, all right? Speak unto the children of Israel, right? You, the children of Israel, right? Judah for you, all right? And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So the Most High God commanded Moses to bid the children of Israel, meaning make the children of Israel put fringes in the borders of their garments. You know what fringes are? Fringes. You see this brother's shirt? You see this brother's garment right here? Those are fringes. Those are fringes. That's not just a fashion statement that we're making. Not only a fashion statement, because it is fly. Most I get most I got flavor. He got much flavor, right? That's right. But, but it's also a law. And that law is for your own well-being. It's for your own good. And we're gonna read why. But if you're on this side, that's how you ought to wear your clothes. So on that shirt, right? Just like this brother got on his shirt, right? Step outside for a second. Right there. You see how he got on his shirt? That's how you put it on your shirt. Bid them that they put fringes in the borders of their garment. That's what it looks like on a shirt like yours and yours. You understand what I'm saying? Throughout their generation. That means forever. That means forever. You have a mother and a father, right? You have a mother and a father, right? You have children, right? Huh? I had a father. You had, well, you know, you I, came from, yeah, yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying. So it's, you were generated, and you, Lord's will, you will generate. Yeah, so yeah. It, your children, you got to teach them to do the same thing. Yeah. Right. So you got to do the same thing. Now we're going to get into why. We're going to get into why. Like, and, and, and like you said, we ought to be afraid. We ought to be afraid, right? Yeah. And that they put upon the fringes of a border, a ribbon of blue. So not only do you put the fringes on, right? Step back out there for me. Not only do you put the fringes on, you put around the fringe a ribbon of blue. You understand? That ribbon of blue is not just a, again, it's not only a fashion statement. It is fun, but it's not only a fashion statement. All right? It's the commandment. Let's get why. And it shall be unto you a fringe. Meaning, this is how the end of your garment should look. You and Israelite, this is how you, you, our garment should not look like that on the end. This is a fringe to you. You understand? I mean, this is a, a yeah, a fringe to you, meaning him. This is a hymn to you. This is the end of your garment. You understand? Mm -hmm. That ye may look upon it uh -huh. and remember all the commandments of the Lord. That ye may what? May remember 
all the commandments of the Lord. So not only is this a fashion statement, not only is this a law, but the reason for this being a fashion statement, the reason for this being a law is so that when we that when we are tempted, when we are put in these, say a, a sister come up and she finds she, damn, you look good, and da, 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 you talking to her, you have the thought in your mind to deal with her as a whore and not marry her, or you are already married and you think to still deal with her as an adulterer or adulteress. You look upon this fringe and it reminds you it reminds you, nah, I shouldn't do that. I'm an Israelite. God said, don't do that. God said, that's adultery. You understand? And not only that, ain't no sister just going to walk up to me in the world with my fringes on. This is on all of my garments. You know? This is on all of my clothes. Sister going, well, I'm weird. We're strange to people in this that's world. Right. You understand? We are not, you walk up to us in the world, they're not just going to hit on us. You understand? They're not just going to act like a whore to us. You understand what I'm saying? If they are, you know, you got particular demons that, you know, disregard things like that. But typically... Typically, ain't no sister just gonna come up acting like no whore with us. You understand? Because we have this on our garments. You understand? This is what God said that we are to dress like. Just like ain't nobody going, and that's royalty. That's our royal heritage. Get, uh, right. get, uh, get, uh, Sirach, yeah. 20, no, 24, 23. That's a, that's, this is, this is our heritage. It's not just religion. It's not just uh, uh, like church, you understand what I'm saying, bro? It's not. It's more than that. This is this is actually who we are. This is the reality of who we are. You understand? Say the name uh, again. What friend? Oh, Israel. Israel united in Christ. Israel united in Christ. You understand? Because Christ and the, his teachings, his it, us following him unites all of us. You understand? Right. Right. Listen. Listen all carefully. My yeah. Listen carefully. This is the book of Sarah. Chapter 24 and verse 23. Bring it out. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. All these things, the things about the fringes, the more the thing we're gonna get the other things about adultery. We're gonna get some laws, Lord, where you stick around. We're gonna get some of these things. And all these things he's saying are the book of the covenant, meaning promise or agreement between even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance uh -huh. unto the congregation. For the what? For inheritance uh -huh. unto the congregations of Jacob. So this is our heritage. It's not church. It's not uh, religion. It's not those things. It's our heritage. You understand? That's who. We, that's this is actually who we are. You understand? Just like for instance, you got um, you got uh, uh, what's that lady? What's that? What's that lady in England? She's a queen now. I forget her name. But you know the queen. Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth, right? You got her, right? Do you see her at the clubs, just walking? Maybe she's going to go into the Watergate food mart, right? You don't see her, right? And if you do see her, if she was to come through here, you would see her accompanied by a great army of uh, uh, police in front of and behind her. It would be a scene when she come through, right? But that's actually how we're supposed to be in the circle. You understand? Our, we are royalty. You right. understand? Even the basis, the basis of people understand royalty. The basis of people have taken our heritage our way and put it upon themselves. They ain't doing right. they ain't doing a good job, but you understand what I'm saying. You understand? Yeah. They call they call uh <laughs> what you talking about? No. They took out they took something from me. Yeah, yeah, what they take from you? Everything. Everything. Bring but it out. They let don't me show know you. my Jesus though. Right? But it's more to it. Let me show you. Let me show let me show you. Hold on, come, 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 come on. Let me show you something else. Go to go to uh Deuteronomy 28 15. I'm gonna show you something. Let's start at seven and six first. I'm gonna show you something because you're right. You're right. You're right, but you know what? You know what us brothers and sisters got a habit of doing. Well, they took it from me. Hold on, they didn't take it from me. No, they did take it from you. They took no. it from all of us. If they took it from your brother, they took it from you. Right. That's and right. they sure as hell took it from me. You My understand what I'm saying? Right. From me too. You're right, but how is that possible? How is that possible? No, because you ain't taught your brother who he is or who you is. If I ain't know. Exactly. I teach exactly. So now we get to where you can teach now. Right. We're going to get to where you can. Now you can wake your community up. Right. You understand where I'm coming from? Let's do it. Do it. Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, listen, listen. chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art in holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. So he says, You, Israel, you Israelites, are holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord your God. You are a holy people. Come on. The Lord thy God had chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people. So not only did he call you holy, meaning separate, separate. You are not like these other people. You are not like these other nations. That's right. Not That's only right. are you holy, but you are a special people unto the Lord thy God. That's right. 
unto himself uh-huh. above all people. What? Above all people. Right, the black man, the black woman is above all people on this right, earth. Right, right. We are above every nation on this earth. Right. right. There ain't no people like us, and there won't be another people like us. Right. You understand? Come on. That are upon the face of the earth. Uh-huh. Now go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Sir. Because you said that they took everything, and they did. They did. They stole everything from us. They stole even your name. They stole your name and gave you a lie to wear as a name. That's, That's right. what they did to our people. Bring it up. That's what they did to our people. But check it out. Listen, this is, this is what happened behind the scenes. And this is what us black men and black women have to acknowledge to get it back. We have to. We must go through this understanding to get it back. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So he's about to tell us what's going to happen if we don't acknowledge, if we don't listen, if we don't do what the voice of the Lord God told us to do, right? Because he gave us laws, statutes, and commandments, right? So he's going to tell us what happens if we don't do the laws, statutes, and commandments. To observe, to do all his commandments uh-huh. and his statutes, uh-huh. which I command thee this day. That all these curses, all these what? All these curses, all these curses, come on, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So these curses are going to hit us, and they will destroy us. They will. It's no, I'm rich. I'm too rich for them to do it to me. I'm too strong for them to do it to me. It will hit you, and it will overtake. It will destroy you. Come on. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall we be in the city. Look around you, brother. Look around you. Look at our pro- we, look at our projects. Look at our pro- look at what we fill up. We fill these places up. We fill these the, the lowest places in society are filled with our people. Right. But we're God's chosen people. We're God's holy people, right? But we we fill the lowest places in society. And curse shall thou be in the field. Uh-huh. Curse shall be thy. Oh, I'm sorry. Curse shall be thy basket. Uh-huh. And thy sword. So you won't have nothing. You will be the poorest and the least amongst all people, financially, economically, and otherwise, and spare in everything. You understand? Curse shall be our basket and our storehouse. Curse shall be our basket and our what we have shall be cursed. What we're worth shall be cursed. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body. Curse shall be the what's the fruit of your body, brother? What's the fruit of your body? You have a child, that's the fruit of your body. You understand? Curse shall your child be. Curse shall your son be. Curse shall your daughter be. Curse shall my son and my daughter be. Why? Because we did not hearken to the voice of the Lord. Right. We did not keep his commandments. Go to 32. Verse 32. Uh-huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and our daughters were given unto another people. You understand? Yeah. Our sons. No other people went through that. No other people went through that. Bring it out. And as strong as we are, as strong as we were, and there shall be no might. I'm sorry. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Uh-huh. And there shall be no might in thine hand. So as strong a people as we are, as smart, as wise, as, as crafty a people we are, we still had no might to re- 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 receive our children. Why? Because he said all these curses, read it again, 15. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses came upon us and overtook us, brother. You understand? That's how we had no might. As strong a people as we are, as many a people as we are, we had no might. How would one man on a horse with a with a whip, with a leather whip, keep 50 to 100 Negroes in check by itself? How did that happen? Because God cursed us for walking away from his commandments. Right. Right. God cursed the black man and the black woman for walking away from his commandments, right. for not right. doing what he said do, right. for not taking hold of your posterity, of your right. heritage. Right. God cursed us as a nation, as a people. Come on, the 48. Verse 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, uh-huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent our enemies against us, and still to this day you serve your enemies. Still to this day, I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove that you, me, all the black men, all the black women, LeBron James, Oprah Winfrey, we still serve the white man. We still 
still serve our enemies. The Arab man, the China man, the Japanese man, we still serve our enemies. Still to this day. I'm going to prove it. In hunger? Uh -huh. Because we don't go to my brother. I don't go to my brother and say, hey, your cattle that you have. I need, so I need 40 steaks. You understand? I need, I need uh, 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 matter of fact, I want to I wanna buy my own cattle to have my own for my heritage, for my uh, children, for my community, right? I can't go to another black man and do that, can I? I can't go to another black man and buy chicken, buy eggs, buy, I can't do that, can I? Can I? Enough to sustain my nation. I can't do that, can I? But I have to go to who for that? Our enemies, the same ones who brought us on this boat, on boats here, to serve as slaves. The same ones who took our sons and our daughters from us. You understand? Don't ignore that. In thirst! Uh -huh. In thirst. So who do I go to for water? Who do I, do I give you my money for, do I give my brother my money for my water bill? No, I give that to these white people, to my enemies. The same people who brought me here as slaves. The same one who brought my people here as slaves. Right. The same ones who still take my people to this day as slaves. The same one who took your name and my name. And they wear it and give us bywords and proverbs. Call us niggas, calls us, calls us cattle. The same one who did that, who does that to us, has my, has my water. I give him my water, I buy my food from him. There's more to that, come on. And in nakedness. And in nakedness, your clothes. Your brother don't make those, your brothers don't, don't run the textiles that print these uh, panels to make your shirt from. That we don't possess that, we don't own those things. We buy those from our enemies. The ones who possess us, we buy our things from them. We serve them. We work for them to buy from them. You understand? Because we serve them. Bring it out. We serve them. Our children will serve them. Their children's children will serve them until we come back to what? The law, statutes, and commandments of God, That's which right. is our heritage. Right. right. Come back to who we are. Wake up to who we are. Come on. And in what of all things? So for all things, a license, a mortgage, a, a, a passport, and one of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Who did that to us? Who put yokes of iron on our neck? Where's that at? Where's that? Right here. Who did this to us? Who did this to us? Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom. What, what color is he? Is that the white man? It's the Uncle Tom, black man. Remember, the black man was destroyed. Read it again. And he shall put a yoke of iron uh -huh. upon thy neck. So who got the yoke of iron on their neck? Uncle Tom? How did they get to you? Ah, yeah. uh, I got what you said. I got Somebody what you're saying. To no, no. Them to get to me. You, you're right. I'm going to show you who. Go to uh, Psalms. No, nope. Psalms. Then get Joel. Go to Psalms first. This is what happened. Because if, if we have a, if we, see, because what you have to understand, brother, is not so much about the skin tone, right? Because we look like Africans, right? We look like Africans, but are we Africans? I'm American. Yeah. Listen, listen to what I'm saying, though. When we was over there, before they came and take us, put us on boats to put us, to bring us here as slaves. Were we Africans? No, we were God's children. We were God's people. children. We were chosen people. That's right. That's who we were. So you, do you think that we was somewhere living and looking like these other people? While, while we had fringes on our clothes, right? What, did, what did, they, did they wear these? No. No, they did not. Excuse me. They did not wear those. You understand? So we looked different. Though we were, set, we were all black people, black skinned people, we were still different. We had different laws, different way we dressed. You understand? Different way we talk. Different things we eat. You understand? Different way we act. Just like the Queen of England. Yeah, she's white like the rest of them, but are all of them the Queen and King? No. She's a little bit different, right? You understand what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. Check me out. Watch this. This is what happened. This is what happened to where you said somebody, somehow they got you, right? Somehow somebody got to you to put you, to make this happen to you, right? Watch this. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 83, verse 1. Uh -huh. Keep not thou silence, O God. Uh -huh. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. Uh -huh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. So it says, thy enemies, God's enemies, make a tumult. Meaning a gathering, right? And they're all screaming. That's what a tumult is. It's an ga angry gathering, right? That's what a tumult is. God's enemies, his enemies, make a tumult, right? They, so they all came together, and they were mad about something. Let's figure it out. 
and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So it says that they, they who hate God, meaning if we're the sons of God, and he ain't my father, you hate me too. You understand? So it says that God's, or, or God's enemies have gathered together, and they were angry about something, right? When they gathered together, they said, let us deal crafty. Let us deal crafty with them. Read it again. They have taken crafty counsel. So they came together and they said, let's figure out something, right? We are mad, I'm sick of this happening, and I hate God. What are we going to do about this problem we have with God, right? Against thy people. So it says, we hate God, and we, therefore you hate God's people, right? So they took crafty counsel against God by destroying his people. You understand? You can't get to God, right? By destroying his people, they feel they'll get to God, right? And consulted against thy hidden ones. Who is God's hidden ones? We are God's hidden ones. You understand? The ones he protects, the ones he keeps, the ones he... You understand? So he, so they took crafty counsel on how to destroy us. You understand? Watch this. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to show you how. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So how would they cut us off from being a nation? Not just a nigga over there, and then a nigga way over there, and then a nigga over there. No, they cut us off from being a nation. A nation. A nation. A nation. You understand? A nation. Nations have armies. You understand? Nations have politics, economics, wealth. You understand? Let us cut them off from being a nation. Not just a scattered people, a nigga here and there, a nation. Let us cut them off. Let us stop them from being a nation. Come on. That, that the name of Israel. That the name of what? Of Israel. That's who you actually are. Not an African, not an American, an Israelite. May be no more in remembrance. That's how it is that you call yourself an American. That's how it is that all of us have had to come to and relearn what we is, actually are. Israel. Israelite. You're an Israelite. Which which one you on the side? Which one of these people? Read it good. This is what God calls you. This is what the world calls you. So if you look at what the world which one God calls you. on this side, on this side here, down this way, and then on the far side, that's what this world calls you. So identify it by what the world calls you. You say you're an American. So I would I would say you tell me if I'm wrong. It says American black. So God calls you Judah. We betrayed. Listen, listen to me though. Judah that, betrayed Jesus. No, not Judas, not Judas. And there were more than just Judas Iscariot in the Bible. There were some mighty Judases as well, you understand? Judas is a good name, it's a mighty name. Oh. But yeah, there was one demon named Judas Iscariot that betrayed yeah. Christ, right? But listen, Judah is the American oh, black. So are you, you, you would consider yourself an American black, yeah? You're not no, from- you just said, I'm an Israelite. Hey, all praises. These are the sons of Israel, so it's okay to say okay. Israelite or Judah. You understand? But you can't go wrong with Israelite. All praises. I'm good. All praises. I'm right. Good. All right, so listen, listen carefully though. This is what happened. When they came together to crafty counsel, now it's gonna enlist, it's gonna tell us some of the people who did this to us. It's gonna tell us how it is that, like you said, they put chains on you, or what did you say? Your own people put chains on you, right? Or somebody gave you to these people for them to put chains on you, right? Check it out. For they have consulted together with one consent. Meaning they were all in agreement. They, meaning they were all, everybody in this tomorrow, they were all in agreement. They were all not, you know, there's some good white people. There's some good I, Arabic I, I people. There's good some ones. good, no, you ain't seen none. You seen, you seen some that felt, you seen some that felt some, uh, 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 rem not remorse, hell no, they feel no remorse. You seen some that didn't want to deal with you for, uh, uh, Right. And what you right. did to them, and what you and what they did to you—that's you, yeah. what you seen. You ain't seen. They wipe the sweat. They ain't no good they wipe the sweat off of me when I'm moving their furniture. I'm going so, to New York Monday. Yeah, you a pet. And going you a pet. Some piano. You a pet. Yeah. That's what you is to them, bro. Yeah. yeah, you a pet. You wipe the sweat off of you. It was probably so you know they they they, they, they messed up like sexually. They oh, messed up no, too. Like, yeah, it's probably they oh, they, no, they get out no. like that, man. They they molested you. You understand? Oh. They didn't wipe no sweat. For they have consulted together with one consent. Uh -huh. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate against thee, meaning in all in agreement. They are together against you. Amalekites. So the ball and Ammon, the Japanese, and the Amalekites, more white people. Those are the so-called Jewish people over there in Israel, lying in our identity today. 
You understand? You understand that? So they all came against us. They all took crafty counsel against us to hide who we actually are. So remember, it says to take away the name of Israel out of the earth. Out of the earth. Get Jeremiah 17 and 4. Yes, sir. Then we're going to get back to some laws for you. What do I do? I got you, bro. I got you. All praises. That's a good question. That's a beautiful question. That's a beautiful question. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Bring it on. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Uh -huh. Meaning? Heritage. Remember what we just read? The heritage was the law, statutes, and commandments. Even thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage, which God gave us. Which God gave us. You understand? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. And God will cause us to serve our enemies. So in serving our enemies, we forgot who we are. We forgot what God wants us to do. We forgot that. But you got you raised a good question, bro. What do we do now? What do we do now? Right? Go to get, get, get um, uh, uh, Acts 3. Get Acts 3. What do we do? What do you do now? That's a beautiful, bro, that's a beautiful question, man. That's a beautiful question. What do we do now? Now, when I tell you, you make sure you put this thing on and wear it every day. You understand? Make sure you put these laws on. Make sure you 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 take on your name. Make sure when somebody asks you who they are, when they ask them, when you when they ask you who they are, you tell them Israelite. 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 You are an Israelite of the tribe of Judah. I believe. Pull it up on my phone. Yeah, pull it up, bro. Pull it up and study. Study. We stand in here teaching because we've studied. You understand what I'm saying? We keep the commandments and we've come to learn to study. We must study because there's so many of our people that don't know who they are. There's so many of our people that walk around thinking that they nothing. You understand? Thinking that they Africans. The Africans are the basic, the, the Bible says the Africans are servants of servants. They are the lowest of all people. You understand? Come on. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore. So the Bible says, you say, what do I do now? The Bible says, the Bible, God's answer is repent. Repent. We're going to get into what repent means. And be converted. And be converted, meaning change. Change. Don't be out here drunk, bro. You get drunk, don't you? Don't be out here drunk, bro. We all drink. All of us drink. But you know why we drink? We drink to be merry. We drink to have, when we come around each other, we drink to laugh and forget about the worries and the problems for just a second. But none of us are drunk. You know why? Because what happens when you're drunk, you can't say a big booty run by, you can't resist that thing. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? God says, God says, don't hate your brother in your heart. You know what happens when you get drunk? You start to feel these feelings towards your brother. I don't like this nigga. You know what, man? I'm gonna push you. I'm gonna, you know how you get, you, you know how you get drunk and you wanna fight or you wanna cry or you wanna, you wanna, you laughing too much, you all you throwing up. That's you a king. Do kings behave that way? Do kings behave that way? No, we don't. We don't act like that. So you drink to be merry, not to be drunk. You understand that? You don't drink to be drunk. You're a king. Never forget that. You understand? Come on. Repent ye therefore. So repent from that alcoholism. It's more things. It's more things that we call. You do drugs? All praises. Don't do drugs. I used to be an addict. You used to be an addict? Yeah. You, so you repent it. So you repent it. That's called repentance. And that's called uh, uh, convert, uh, converting, changing. You understand? That's good, bro. That's good. Now you got to do the same thing with getting drunk. You can still drink. But if it becomes a device to where if you pick it up, you can't put it down, then don't drink no more either. Christ said, if your right hand or finger, you cut it off. Meaning, if something is so heavy for you that you just can't resist it, then don't do it at all. Don't do it. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're pushing real hard, man. All praises to the Lord. The God is pushing real hard, brother. God is pushing real hard. The truth. That's what I'm, that's all I'm about to do. Okay. That your sins may be blotted out. That's the only way you'll be forgiven. When it comes time, when Christ returns, brother, you better be in order. I know, right? You better be in order because he's not playing with he you. He's not playing. playing. He loves he's us. Not. He loves us and he died for he us. Praying. He did all this stuff for us, right? But he will put you to death. You understand? And when he come, he's not asking you no questions. You understand? He gave me, I caught pneumonia. Uh -huh. I couldn't breathe. I almost died. Uh -huh. <clears throat> this was like January. Yeah, yeah, you gotta repent and let your sins because you can still die of pneumonia. But when you right die, now, when can. you die, when you die, you make sure that you in order, make sure that you've done the best you could do to keep the Lord's commandments while you were here. Right. That's you understand? Right. Come on. Is that it on that? 
When the times of refreshing Lord. shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's the times of refreshing when Christ comes to destroy this whole planet, to burn it and rebuild a new, clean, and refreshed planet. That's right. You better make sure you're in order. You understand? Make sure you're in order. Get uh, uh, no repent from um, Psalms 19. Psalms 19. Be converted. Let me show you what to convert to. Because remember what happened to us as far as us going into slavery, as far as somebody taking our name and they wearing our name for, on themselves, that happened because we, they took everything from us that happened because we left God's commandments. You understand? There was one point where God fought for us. You remember he destroyed all the Egyptians? You, you remember that? You remember when he destroyed, that's what God would do. He'd give entire nations for our ransom. You understand? He would destroy an entire nation for you. He's going to do something. Man. You understand? Right. Yeah, he is. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It really is. Listen, listen carefully. This is, so repent and be converted, right? I'm going to show you what converts you, what changes you, right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Bring it up. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect, meaning it's nothing. If the law of the Lord might say, don't be a whoremonger, right? Don't, matter of fact, the law of the Lord is say, stop marrying other nations. Ain't no interracial marriage in the Bible. That's sin. That's right. That's and foolishness. And that's order, right? But we'll say, damn, I already had a... I already had a baby with her. Damn, I, I don't know. No, the law of the Lord is what? The law of the Lord is perfect. Don't, it's, you, you, listen. He say don't do it, don't do don't it. Don't do it. Really? The law, is nothing wrong with the law of the Lord. You can't fix it, you can't change it. Yeah, but my situation is like this. The law of the Lord is perfect. It's perfect. Come on. Converting the soul. And if you do it, it's what will convert your soul. If you have an issue with alcohol, the law, you keep the law, you will not have a condition with alcohol. You understand? The law of the Lord, you can't, like, um, like uh, you say you, you you kick drugs, right? You kick drugs, that was but by the power of the Most High God. That wasn't your, sure. that wasn't your, sure. exactly. And it might be so that you can stand right here and receive your heritage today. Right, that's right. You might have otherwise been dead, brother. You understand that? You understand that? So now you're standing here, now you gotta do the same thing with the alcohol. Right. You can still, it's no law against drinking, no law against drinking. We all drink, but at moderation. Christ drank, but at moderation. You understand? It was not to be drunk. It was not to be anything less of stature than what a king should be. You understand? Come on, is that? The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So Christ came and he showed us how to live. That's sure. You live by that, that's a sure thing. You understand? That's a sure thing. Right. When he comes, you're going to be all right if you live by the testimony of Christ. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Give um, um, uh, Kings, first Kings. Yes, sir. This is the book of first Kings, chapter 8 and verse 46. If they sin against thee. So we've all sinned, right? We've all sinned. If they sin, you ask, what do I do now? You sin. We've sinned, right? What do we do? For there is no man that sinneth not. Everybody sins. And thou be angry with them. So God was angry with us and he sent us as captives, as slaves to our enemies, right? And delivered them to the enemy uh -huh. so that they carried them away captives unto the land of their enemies far and near. Uh -huh. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. To bethink yourself means to think again, to remember. You understand what I'm saying? Like you said, uh, 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 let me see. I forgot the water at the store. Let me go back and get it. That's to be think. You understand? So I forgot who I am. Let me see. Let me let me remember who I am. Let me figure out who I am. You understand what I'm saying? Because Amerigo's Vespucci was a white man. Leo Scipius Africanus was a white man. But both of those names are the names that you were called by. Both of those names are the names that you were called by, right? African American. Understand? Understand? Those are two white men, right? So you, at, at some point you should ask yourself, damn, how did I come from two white men? How am I called by the name of two white men? If you shall bethink yourself, you should bethink yourself. That doesn't make sense, right? Bethink yourself, all right? Meaning remember who you are. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives. So here you were carried captives, right? Here we were all carried captives here to this land. This is the land where we should bethink ourselves, remember who we are. You understand? And repent. And repent. That word again, repent. Repent. Understand that we've done wrong. Dang, I've done wrong. I've done wrong. And make supplication unto thee. Meaning pray to thee. Meaning pray to the Lord. Lord, listen, I, I did wrong. 
I did wrong, right? In the land of them that carried them captives, saying, we have sinned. Who have sinned? We have sinned. All of our people have sinned. Our nation has sinned. Understand? All of us have sinned. That's how we captured sin. Come on. And have done perversely. Uh -huh. We have committed wickedness. Uh -huh. And so return unto thee with all their heart. How do you return to the Lord? Remember, he said that this was the heritage that he gave us. Heritage comes from your father, right? Your father gives you your heritage, right? So our heritage came from who? Our father, God. Which was what? The laws, statutes, and commandments. Return unto the Lord with all our heart. Return to the laws, statutes, and commandments with all our heart. With all our heart. Right? And with all their soul uh -huh. in the land of their enemies, uh -huh. which led them away captive, uh -huh. and prayed unto thee toward their land, which thou... Meaning, when you pray, you pray towards the east. Because that's our land. Jerusalem is our land. Jerusalem is the motherland. You understand? Hold that. Get Jerusalem. It's the motherland. Hold that. Get that. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna prove it. I'm, we got. We got. We got. You got a flyer, yeah? Yeah, I got a flyer. Yeah, read that flyer, and it's a, it's a okay. website on it too. But listen, okay. check this out. Check this out. This is the book of Galatians, chapter four, and verse twenty-six. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Africa was a lie. That it's the motherland, Africa, we're Africans, that's a lie. You understand? Yeah, Jerusalem is a part of Northeast Africa, and that plate, that tectonic plate. Yes, that's true. That's all true. But we are not Africans by nation, by nationality, by nation, right. by heritage. We are not Africans. You understand? Jerusalem, read it again. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Adam and Eve, the first man. And everybody proceeding after that came from Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Understand? Come on, go back. Go back. Come on. Verse 48. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul. That, that means, that means, yeah, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to put the fringes on. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But I'm going to keep the liquor. I'm going to keep getting drunk because I love to get drunk. That's not returning to the Lord with all your might and with all your soul. That's not that. You understand? Come on. In the land of their enemies, uh -huh. which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, uh -huh. which thou gavest unto their fathers. So pray to the east, pray to the east, Jerusalem. The city which thou hast chosen, uh -huh. and the house which thou hast built for thy name. Uh -huh. Then hear thou their prayer. Uh -huh. and then, 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 when we do that, when we say we've done wickedly, when you start, when you start wearing fringes on your clothes, when you stop getting drunk, you understand? When you stop, it's, we're gonna bring out some more laws as well. All right. I know the laws, bro. No, no, no. No, you don't. Because you're breaking a couple of I'm going to show you. I'm no breaking them. I'm going to show you. Listen, listen don't carefully. Don't do that. Don't I'm gonna do show that. You. No, you know I got to show you. I want to. You know why I got to show you? Because I love you. I don't know. I lo listen, right. listen. Because I love you. You're my people. You understand that? And if I see you in the way of death, I got to try to push you out the way, right? That's right. Well, I got to try to push you out the way of that death, don't I? So that's what I'm going to do, brother. You understand? Come on. Then hear thou their prayer. So once we do that, then... The Lord will hear our prayer. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.